my face and my screen kind of covering up the title here, but the EP is called Systematic Schema from Topi. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, I could be forgetting something, but is this the uh, the debut EP from Topi on Never Say Die? I've never quite connected with his music and quite got it. And I've seen loads of people, you know, loads and loads of people have kind of waxed lyrical about his stuff and, uh, you know, how it's uh, pushing boundaries and, you know, all that kind of thing with the ideas and whatnot. But I, I personally have just never quite had that connection and never quite felt the effect of his ideas, his production. I mean, no, to be fair, the production is good. The production is good. But the ideas I've never quite been grabbed by or blown away by or just, I don't know, never quite, um, never been quite uh, taken aback by what he's been putting out. Hopefully my kind of just um, understanding and appreciation of his music is going to change quite drastically here with this EP. I look forward to it and you know it's got to be at least very, very good and I suppose somewhat forward thinking. If you know you're getting a Never Say Die EP all to yourself uh, no collaborators here, no collaborations are on the EP, so uh, yeah, I mean, I'm just looking forward to hearing a straight four-track collection, no fucking about, all just pure topi goodness, and uh, yeah, hopefully I can have my mind kind of do a bit of a 180 when it comes to my enjoyment of his style and his music. <laughs> Little motif, bringing you back in. Bam, 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 bam. That's, uh, that's gonna stick in my head, that is, you know. Gonna bring me back in. Again, I'm just like, kind of egging it on to go a bit further with the idea of a bit of an extended outro there. A drop, a final drop kind of posing as an outro, which is quite cool. I can appreciate the force of the production, I can appreciate the weight of the track overall, as I said, like, the gravitas of it. But yeah, there, there's something about the idea that I, I don't know, I just... It just feels quite, it just feels quite ordinary to me. Like, I, I know it's got a certain presence to it, and it sounds like Topi, but I, I don't know, there's nothing really about the idea that's that's throwing me, per se, you know. There was a din, 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 you know, that's a little motif that kind of runs through the first half, which is, uh, you know, quite, quite decent and something to remember. Um, but if I, I might be remembering wrong, but that kind of, that isn't there in the second half, and you kind of want that coming back again. Just a bit of a sluggish second half for me. Um, it, it's a kind of music where I, where I'm just like, you know, it's fine, but I'm not like, I'm not dying to go back to it kind of thing. But it could be one of those where, when I hear it again, I'll just I'll enjoy it more. Moving on from there, we have track number two, uh, Schema. So uh, the other half of the EP's title here. Oh, okay, 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 now we're talking. Okay. I mean, it is essentially just Topi style in a house format, and I like that. Just picking up a little bit here. What are we gonna get for the second drop? Ooh. 
boy. Okay. Yeah, that's quite naughty. There's an extent to which, you know, in the uh, in the dubstep format, it can perhaps his style for me just get a bit a bit lethargic, just a bit just drones on just a little bit, and you know, not not tiresome. I wouldn't go quite that far, but it just gets it just trudges on for a bit, just just a bit too long, and it just gets a bit arduous listening to it. But in that format, really working, you know, picking it up. A bit of a bop, a bit of a vibe, and you know, I liked the switch up from the first drop to the second, but that aside, it just doesn't really like, you know, just try to overly impress you, do you know what I mean? It keeps it quite chilled, quite like, it, it doesn't go over the top basically with the amount of different elements spring together, and so it just has a bit of a, a bit of an effortless feel, and with that topy kind of gravitas and weight to it, but yeah, again, just within a house format, giving it a bit of a bounce, a bit of a bop, a bit more rhythm, a bit more of a vibe, a bit more upbeat, picking it up and giving it a bit more spice, a bit more flavour, a bit more life. And uh, yeah, I think it really works. That was good. Good stuff. Keep having to change this thing because I, I scrolled up by mistake. But it's all good. Track three. Must be. That rhymes. That second one, Schema, Mr. Big. That's lovely. Oh, I love that. That little delayed feel. The echo of those, like, bells or whatever you call them. The rhythm of that. Quite short. That would be a drawback for me. Um, I would have liked to have, I mean, maybe fitting the kind of quite explosive nature of it, even though it's quite uh, low key, I think the way that it's set up and uh, arranged and the execution of it, the design of it has quite a, quite a combustible feel, you know, it kind of feels like it's bursting at the seams kind of thing, just waiting to unleash all this color and energy. And yeah, I like that about it. But then, yeah, Again, in contrast to that, in contrast to that kind of explosive feel, it's got this lovely dreamy quality where it's just kind of fading off with each new uh, uh, synth introduction and the bells just kind of clanging and reverberating throughout your mind. Very cool. I like that technique. And again, I do think, yeah, quite unique in a way. Quite spicy, quite flavoursome with uh, the outlay of sound and uh, injecting a bit of colour and a bit of... Yeah, fruitiness, I suppose, to the heaviness of his style, which is cool. I rated that. Not special, but solid for a little variant and change with his usual heavy, stodgier approach. Moving on, moving forward, we have the closer back from the future. Topi is a, a time traveller, of course. <laughs> It's a good intro. Oi! Oi! Come on! The angling of all those sounds, the dynamic going on here. weight of his sound I think being fully felt as well just really swaggering along just oh so good at that I think for me that one is everything that the opener isn't. It's another pretty straightforward idea, I suppose, 
from him, but it's just got that it's just got that swagger to it. It's just got those few more little clinks and clanks, ensuring that everything just kind of rebounds off where every sound just kind of rebounds off the other next to it in the perfect way. Just so that you establish that bum bum wah bum wah bum wah bum because otherwise it would be just quite quite formulaic, quite straightforward, you know what I mean? Just like dirt 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 but here wah bum wah bum wah bum and it's just like yeah just the perfect placement of sounds here. Someone who's struggled in a way to kind of really understand and appreciate Topi's stuff before this, uh, that for me is a good example of another pretty pretty ordinary idea from him, I would say, but it's just got the execution and those little clinks and clanks here and there on lock and the swing of the percussion sitting underneath just to make for a very good combination of elements overall. If I was gonna round up here, then genuinely, I think the only one for me that I'm not massive on at the moment is the opener. You know, for me, it gets off to, you know, even though I think it actually does get off to quite a good start, but that's only the first half. So if we're talking about the whole tune, systematic, yeah, uh, not the best, not the best start overall for me, kind of tails off towards the end and doesn't uh, introduce or kind of announce the following three in the most impactful or effective way. But then the ones following that for me are just very good. You know, Schema, his style, but with a bit more of an upbeat feel in the house format. Really works, liking that a lot. Must be quite a unique idea and injecting a bit of uh, colour and flavour in there. A bit uh, a bit weird and a bit odd, but I enjoyed that with the, uh, with the outlay of sound. Definitely caught me off guard quite a bit, and uh, I appreciate that. Appreciate that kind of difference and kind of ambition, if you will, within that format. And then Back From The Future was, for me, the kind of style from him, an approach that I haven't enjoyed before, but which now I am, well, not now, you know, I'm not just outright enjoying everything from now, but was, for me, his normal approach just in well unleashed in a more effective way and just pretty much firing on all cylinders without doing all that much so showing a bit of variety within his style whilst finishing with one that is more typical of him and done very well i think that one would have to be uh, back from the future one of my favorites that i've heard from him yet uh, not just within his more normal style, but yeah, ever. That would be my thoughts on Systematic Schema right there.